Hello supply chain friends. So since I made my videos on the top universities for supply chain programs in the US and also the top 10 companies in the US to work for supply chain, I got a lot of questions from my followers asking me to make similar content about Germany. So here comes my first Germany specific video where I will cover with you the top three universities in Germany for supply chain master's program. And watch till the end because one of those three options is a university which has zero tuition fee, so it's free. My name is Jamil Hai and I've been working in supply chain management positions across South Asia, Middle East and North America for the last 20 years. And my mission is to help supply chain professionals like you build real life skills for your job and career that they don't teach you in college. And if you are preparing for a supply chain job interview anytime soon, you should definitely book a session with me because I'm going to take your resume, the job description you are applying for, and based on a combination of those two and my 20 years of experience, will give you some laser guided tips and tricks which will maximize your chances of success. So go ahead now and book your session. Now before I cover the top three universities, I just want to talk a little bit about Germany itself because Germany is an economic superpower of the Europe Russia region. And although they are currently facing some challenges in terms of economic growth and growth is slowing down uh, because over the last 20, 30 years, they have over invested in manufacturing and under invested in technology, kind of the opposite approach, by the way, which Mr. Trump is trying to now take in the US. But that whole idea of just relying on manufacturing is biting Germany uh, really hard right now. But despite that, they are still the largest economy in the Europe, Russia region. And if you look at that table, and if you look at this table over here, Germany has still got uh, the largest GDP uh, in that region. So Germany stands at $4.2 trillion, followed by UK, which is at 3.4, uh, France is at 3.1, Italy is at 1.9 trillion, uh, and Russia is at 1.5 trillion. And when you also look at the top 10 manufacturing companies in that region, seven out of the top 10 of those companies are based out of Germany. And this might also be very useful information for those subscribers who asked me to make a video about Germany after I posted the video on the top 10 uh, supply chain companies to work for in the United States. Uh, because you can see here like all those big companies in the manufacturing space at least. And of course, if a company has got a huge manufacturing footprint, they would also have a pretty significant supply chain footprint as well because they have to move their products around. And you can see here in this top 10 list, you have got all the major German players like Volkswagen uh, is at the top of the list. Then you have got the famous BMW, the famous Mercedes Benz. You have also got the Robert Bosch company, which is a huge conglomerate and they do make a lot of industrial equipment too. Uh, you have got the RWE supply and trading uh, company, which is in the energy sector. And then you have got the Siemens uh, AG company, which is a huge uh, manufacturing giant as well in the space of uh, electrical uh, engineering and automation. And then finally, you also have got the BASF company, which is a chemical manufacturer. So you can see uh, a lot of the German companies are dominating the top 10 list. So now let's move to the top three list of universities. And on number three, I've got the Technical University of Applied Sciences in Wildau. Uh, don't even ask me to pronounce the German version of their name because uh, I don't know German uh, language. So I'll just stick to English for now. But this Technical University in Wildau offers the Logistics and Supply Chain Management Program or the Masters in Engineering uh, for Supply Chain. And what I like about this program, and that's why I've put it on uh, my number three on my list, uh, is because uh, this program is offered across three countries. So as you start the program, you start it in Spain and then you go to Latvia to do some of the uh, semester work and then finally you come to Germany. Uh, so it gives you a good taste of the different supply chain challenges across the European continent. Um, and that's why it's such a good program. Uh, in terms of the fees, uh, this program will cost you about 4,000 euro per year, uh, which is actually pretty good. Uh, when I compare it with the fee that you would typically pay for a master's program in the US or even in Canada. Uh, so pretty subsidized for the local citizenry, even for the foreign citizens, uh, it's only 5,800 euros, uh, which is uh, once again pretty cheap. Uh, and of course, this tuition fee doesn't cover uh, the boarding and lodging cost or your food cost. This is just the tuition fee uh, there. Um, the other piece about this program is, uh, first of all, uh, Weldau, you may not have even heard the name of this uh, small little town. It's in the south of Berlin. So this university is on the eastern side of Germany. Uh, and when you look uh, a little bit deeper into 
the program itself you have got uh, in the first year of this program so this is a two year program where in the first year you will cover uh, things like the basics of logistics and supply chain management systems thinking decision making uh, generic management skills uh, then you get uh, further advanced into the supply chain network flow management information technology materials handling and so on and then in the second year which is the semester which you then finally do in germany uh, is where you cover things like transportation logistics logistics information systems uh, and logistics systems engineering and implementation uh, you also do a thesis in your masters there uh, so a pretty solid master's program in supply chain and uh, while it's not free but the cost is pretty economical now let's move to number two on our list and this is the free option by the way and this is the technical university at Darmstadt now Darmstadt is also a very industrial uh, small town in the south of Frankfurt so this is now on the western side of Germany um, and uh, I have got some experience of actually working uh, close to Darmstadt because uh, when I was at Procter & Gamble during one of my years there I was managing a brand called Vela uh, which I think PNG is sold now but Vela is a very famous uh, hair colorist brand if you uh, have heard the name and their uh, headquarter was uh, in Darmstadt Germany um, so very industrial town very uh, much close to Frankfurt which of course makes it a uh, good location for supply chain uh, job market as well um, and in this particular case uh, you have um, because this is a free program the admission criteria is a little bit harder than uh, other universities right so of course you have to have a degree and then you have to have uh, some good score in your academics and so on but even from an English perspective you need to be what they define as a C1 level and I was checking what the C1 level really means uh, C1 actually means that you need to have a score of about 7.5 in IELTS or about 627 in TOEFL which is uh, a very high score I remember when I gave TOEFL many years ago uh, I got I think 600 uh, which I, I mean for me at that time you know that was amazing because it was a very high score for me so you need to actually uh, do uh, better than that uh, so and even I know uh, IELTS because I gave IELTS when I was coming to Canada um, and uh, getting to a 7.5 is not an easy thing to do so you will have to score that uh, now this program is also divided into four semesters over two years and in the first semester you cover the logistics and supply chain core area where you're you know covering the fundamentals like logistics management materials management uh, simulations in supply chains transportation management and so on uh, and then as you move from semester one through the next semesters you will uh, be covering things like uh, uh, engineering and natural sciences courses so you there's a there's a core uh, elective course catalog that you have to choose the courses from uh, and then there is also like an interdisciplinary area uh, where you will do uh, some project work and uh, some work with uh, foreign universities and then finally in the last semester you will do uh, a master's thesis uh, which is basically the end of this program now this brings me to the number one university on my list which is the Kuhn Logistics University now one of the main reasons I have put this on number one is that I don't think I have ever seen a university anywhere around the world whether it's US or Canada or even you know in other parts of the world where the university is entirely based on supply chain and when I read the name Kuhn University I was like does this have something to do with Kuhn and Nagal and that's actually the case because Kuhn University was founded in 2010 by Klaus Michael Kuhn uh, who is also one of the owners of the Kuna Nagel uh, company and Kuna Nagel for those of you who don't know it, it's one of the biggest players when it comes to warehousing logistics and transport around the world it's a German company of course and uh, Klaus Michael Kuhn himself is considered to be uh, you know one of the leading billionaires and probably on the only billionaire who has made their billions of dollars of net worth primarily in the field of logistics so uh, that is amazing that he has now also uh, started a university where they are focusing on the supply chain education aspect as well and as you can see on uh, this screen uh, they offer a number of different programs they offer a BBA they offer the masters in global logistics and supply chain management which is the program I will talk about uh, they also offer masters in business analytics and data science and they've got a few other programs here 
uh, you can see. Uh, so if we go a little bit deeper into this uh, master's program in logistics and global supply chain management, it has uh, got uh, uh, four semesters, so it's uh, covered over two years. Uh, the fees is relatively high, it's about 7,800 euros. And once again, when I say relatively high, I'm just comparing it versus the free option that we just saw or uh, the, the university that we had on number three, which was the Wildau University, uh, and that there the fees was cheaper. But if you still compare like, you know, with the US or Canadian universities, this is still relatively uh, cheaper. Um, uh, they also do like an exchange semester where they would work with other universities. Uh, and then there's an internship in this program as well. And then the program itself has got two tracks. There's a standard track and a fast track. And the main difference between the two is that this um, semester that you need to do abroad in a different uh, setting or a country, that is uh, not covered in the fast track uh, versus the standard track. And one of the best things I like about this program is the liaison this creates with the industry. I've always said this very clearly on my channel so many times that supply chain is a very, very experiential industry. So it, for people who just expect that by going and getting a college degree, they will get a wonderful job in supply chain. That may not happen because you need to blend your master's degree or your bachelor's degree with some level of experience. And that's what I like about this program because it's so much well integrated with the industry connection. So for example, uh, if you look at the structure of this program, uh, you know, you've got the internship component and um, you know, some of the companies which have hired interns from this particular program in the past are some of the leading names in the supply chain world in Germany. So if you look at Henkel, which is one of the leading uh, fabric and home care manufacturers uh, in the world. And of course, you've got Kuna Nagel, which we just talked about uh, now. And then there's Lufthansa, there's Siemens. Uh, and then, of course, they're also working in the United Nations. So a lot of great industry connections. And even in their uh, final year uh, master's thesis, uh, they have been working with some amazing companies like Beisdorf, which is basically the company that makes the Nivea cream. Once again, a huge uh, manufacturing player out of Germany. You've got McKinsey, which is uh, one of the big four uh, consulting companies in the world. So extremely good connections with the industry. And that is why this has made it to the number one university on my list for supply chain, because uh, not only it is the whole philosophy of the university is built around supply chain, uh, the courses are built around supply chain, but of course they have also got a very good industrial liaison, which is the key component of success. If you are ever going back to university to study supply chain, so whatever program you take is very well connected with the industry uh, in that particular country where you are taking the program. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I've also made videos on similar country specific topics like how to find supply chain jobs in Australia and how to find supply chain jobs in Saudi Arabia, which you can watch by clicking over here. Keep watching.